Greetings viewers, welcome to my channel. Today's video is a review on the K-Line CP8110 band EQ effects pedal. I bought this off Amazon for about $50 US and so far I'm really liking the pedal. Unfortunately, it does have an issue which uh, is solvable, but I will go over that. And really, this is a clone of the more popular MXR M108S 10 band EQ, which I have right here. I'm actually going to do another video to compare and actually do a teardown of each of these pedals to see the guts inside. But what's interesting is that the chips that run inside this MXR are exactly the same as the ones used in this K-Line. The thought would be that each of these would perform equally well, but unfortunately this one does not. But it's not exactly the fault of the chip, it's actually the design of the circuitry inside. Speaking from a build quality perspective, the outside is uh, made of an aluminum chassis and it's really, I, I would say it's pretty well built. In fact, it's probably equally built as the MXR here. And one thing I like about it is it not only does it have the light up faders, but they're not insanely bright. The faders are actually smooth. They don't feel you know cheap or anything like that. It does have a slightly longer throw than the MXR, for example, but it still has 12 dB of boost and then 12 dB of cut. I'll get right into testing this and show you the problem that this has, why a lot of people will wind up returning this pedal. I have a run-of-the-mill pedal power supply that I bought off of Amazon, and it looks like this, or at least it came in this box here. Very inexpensive, does two amps, and it puts out exactly 9.01 volts. Now I have it connected from one of the outputs directly to my PV Basic practice amp here. And I have the gain set at four and the volume set at three. And we're gonna turn it on, but I want you to listen to the background noise. So right now the pedal is off. There's that background noise I was telling you about. Turn it off goes away but as soon as you turn it on that's a little excessive for a quick compare here is the MXR and I have it set to the same EQ and I know these LEDs are super bright I will do a separate video of, on this pedal on how we can make these LEDs more dim rather than just doing the standard you know tape or the sharpie to make them not as blaring in your face bright but right now the pedal is disengaged. Listen carefully to what happens when I turn on the MXR. Off, on, and the same gain structure. This pedal is far quieter than the K-Line. Now that quick demonstration easily shows that even though this pedal is about $50 US, versus the MXR, which is roughly about $125, $130 for this pedal. It, and I actually wound up getting this pedal for about that much, but it also included some cables, some picks, the little extra stuff that you can get. And it was a promotion on Amazon. It's still far more costly than this one. And it has the same exact chipset. It uses an MC 33079DG. I'll link into the description below the data sheet, and it's actually a very good operational amplifier or op amp as they're called. It is a quad channel or quad op amp, and basically each channel runs one of the bands in the EQ, including the final volume stage and the pre gain stage. So now, why does this pedal sound so much more noisy when the, both of these have the same exact chipset? Well, it has to do with the power supply circuitry. The marketing on the MXR says 18 volts is better. 18 volts gives you more headroom, more clarity, more dynamics. And they're right, because you do have a higher voltage swing with the MXR when you have 18 volts running through it. And those chips inside are designed to handle up to 36 volts on a, what's called a single supply. 
uh, not getting too technical uh, what a, between a single and a dual supply is, but suffice to say that 18 volts is definitely better. And the K-Line actually goes one step further. It's got, actually got a creative circuit inside. Yes, you need to power it with 9 volts because what's happening inside, it's actually got a step-up converter. It is actually running the chips in the internal circuit board on 18 volts, but it's deriving it from the 9 volts. It's stepping it up from 9 volts to 18 volts. In reality, if you were to power this with 18 volts, you will get still 18 volts powering to the circuitry, but it's not necessary. Here's proof that using the MXR power supply, which is just an 18 volt power supply with a barrel positive and tip negative, and when you power this up, you're still getting a lot of noise, even at 18 volts. Off, on. It's quite terrible. So what's happening is you really don't need 18 volts powering this pedal because the circuitry is already doing that for you. And you may not be able to hear it. Other, I mean, kind of sounds like a hissing or a chirping sound. It's actually the circuitry inside. It's going into a low power mode because now it doesn't need to up convert to 18 volts because it's already receiving it. The circuitry can actually handle up to 24 volts DC, but I would not do that. Uh, but this pedal doesn't need to be powered by 18 volts. 9 volts is what it was designed for. This up converter circuitry inside here is not in the MXR because the MXR comes with its own power supply and it's already going to provide 18 volts. There's no need to have that inside there. K-Line was creative in doing that, but this presents a problem because now this circuitry, even if you run it at 9 volts, is going to induce all that noise on there so unfortunately there is a design flaw in this step-up circuitry because in practice it can work very well but the problem is that the circuitry inside and all the values of the components actually are not tuned if you will to 9 volts 9.0 volts dc it is actually tuned slightly off from that and i'm going to show you what happens what i have here is what's called a buck converter I have a couple barrel and tip ends on the input and output. And basically what this does is that it takes any incoming voltage and adjusting the resistor right here, you can actually take any voltage lower than what is coming in the input. And it's a constant voltage regulator is what they're called. You can get them on Amazon. This is one of the larger ones. I'm actually gonna get a smaller one uh, that has a smaller footprint form factor. And what this basically does for any pedal is that it simulates a dying battery. Most of the uh, nine volts dying that are somewhere around eight and a half volts. Watch what happens when I run this at eight and a half volts. For demonstration purposes, here is the incoming voltage from the power supply and it shows a rock solid 9.10 DC volts. And here is the voltage on the output side that is powering this pedal now and you can see it's a solid 8.5 volts DC. Now, watch what happens when I engage the pedal. Same EQ setting, you no, know, it's kind of exaggerated on the high end, and that's what you would expect uh, a lot of noise to be present, but watch what happens. Hear the difference? Off, on. That really quieted that pedal down, and not like you'll hear it on camera, but you don't hear that inductor noise, that chirping sound anymore. It is because now that step-up converter circuitry is happy. It is taking the 8.5 volts, bringing it up to 18 volts for all the chips to run, and it now runs perfect. In fact, it's equally performs well with the MXR, which is far more costly. You just need to actually run it at 8.5 volts versus 9 volts. I have been in contact with K-Line Technology over in China, and thank you so much to them. They've actually been very friendly and helpful. They sent me the schematic to this pedal, and that's how I was able to figure out that the MXR and the K-Line share the same exact op amplifiers inside. And with that schematic, I was able to discover why all that noise was being induced with the step-up circuitry. And when I tried 8.5 volts, that solved the problem.
They are actively working on getting this fixed, but if you do buy this pedal, you can make it quieter by running it at eight and a half volts. Uh, a power supply like this is gonna output exactly 9.0 or 9.1 volts. That's not gonna necessarily work too well for you if you don't mind the little extra background noise. But if you wanna get the same performance as the more expensive MXR, you do have to run this at eight and a half volts. And it has to be a power supply that is barrel positive and tip negative. The more expensive power supplies actually have a couple outputs where you can simulate a dying battery. It's got a dial that you can bring the voltage down from like 9.0 all the way down to like, I think like seven volts or even down as low as four volts to simulate a dying battery. And an output like that would work well for this 10 band EQ. But what's I think what's gonna wind up happening is K-Line's gonna either have to change the components inside so that it can handle nine volts exactly without inducing noise uh, until that happens this is the workaround thank you guys so much again for watching really appreciate the support on the channel for full disclosure k-line technology has not endorsed or compensated me in any way for reviewing this pedal or sending me the schematic they just did that for out of good customer service and i really appreciate their their time and their assistance with this i will likely keep this pedal now that I've been able to figure out what the problem is. And hopefully in the future iterations, they will be able to fix the incoming circuitry to run on nine volts exactly. Because unfortunately, finding a pedal power supply that's a barrel positive and tip negative running at exactly eight and a half volts DC, it's not very common. It doesn't really exist. They do have eight and a half volt power supplies, but the tip polarity is different and it may or may not be exactly 8.5 volts it might be 8.6 might be 8.4 and that will still cause the noise the really the issue is inside with this step up converter circuitry i honestly don't think they need it there's really no need you are getting the headroom of 18 volts in this pedal even though it's running at 9 volts that is a good thing but i think the reason why they added this step up converter circuitry is because it doesn't ship with its own power supply like the MXR does. If they were to go and ship it with an 18 volt power supply or advertise that it runs on 18 volts, well, that's a very common power supply to run. And if you get rid of that step up converter that's inducing all the noise, this pedal would be a very good alternative to the MXR. In fact, if you were to, even if you increase the cost of it from $50 to say $60 and included its own 18 volt power supply, I think that they would do very well against the MXR. As always, any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer. Thank you so much again for watching. Cheers.